Praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Morning Glow. Welcome to another time in the presence of the Lord. It's a beautiful day. It's an awesome day. It's going to be a day of blessing, a day of fortune it's coming into your life, a day of favor, a day of the heavens opening upon you, a day of blessings beyond imagination. Let us ascribe greatness to our God. Let us make his name great. From the rising of the sun to the going down of it, he will be exalted. He will be lifted up. Father, we bless you. We make great your name today. We celebrate you. Awesome God, healer, deliverer, our salvation, our joy. We bless your name. Bless your people this morning. Let the heavens open upon them. Let favor flow. Let our cries come to you. Let somebody be released. Let somebody be delivered. We come today under the canopy of your mercy. 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 Let your people experience mercy. Let mercy deliver. Let mercy heal. Let mercy save. Exceed our prayer. Exceed our expectation in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We'd like to welcome everybody who's joining us this morning. We trust the Lord. You will be blessed. You will be highly favored. Your life will never be the same. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Welcome you from wherever you've joined this morning. We celebrate. We appreciate. We thank God for you. And we pray God's blessings, God's favor. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Please let us know where you have joined from so we can celebrate and appreciate you. May I also encourage you, share, 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 share the platform with other people. Let's make other people come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Let them see the power of God. Let them find the power of God. Somebody needs to know that God still answers prayer. Be their anchor person. Be the person who built the bridge for them to experience God in a special, mighty way. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let's know where you're joining from so we can appreciate and pray for you. Warwickshire, God bless you richly this morning. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord, praise the Lord for you. Uh, may you be blessed. Everyone who's joining us, please get ready because today the Lord will minister to you. <clears throat> today the Lord will touch your life. In the name of Jesus. Durban, South Africa, good morning, blessings. Tolls Hill, Southwest London, blessings. Windsor, Ontario, blessings. West Cliff on Sea, blessings. Silanti, Michigan, the Lord bless you richly. Yorkshire, in Northern England, the Lord bless you today. Sierra Leone, blessings, blessings. Accra, Ghana, on Spintex Road. The Lord bless you richly, in Jesus' name. Madishka Yedoda, Stratford, in Olympic, I mean, Olympic Village in Stratford, London. God bless you richly. Ojo Lagos, Nigeria, be blessed, be favored, be lifted. Madash Kayedo, Cairo in Egypt, will be light out fake. May the Lord bring blessings to you today. Uh, KICC, Kenya, blessings to you, Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Uh, D side in Wales, God bless you today. Nala Jindobra, Deshka Yedebro, Zombali, Teleri. We speak blessings on you today. We declare favor. Pretoria, South Africa. Saubona Kunjani. God bless you richly today. Uh, Sutton in Surrey. Blessings. Forest Gate. Blessings. Per Lagos, Nigeria. Blessings. Tika in Kenya. I hope I said that word well. Tika. God bless you richly in Jesus' name. Uh, Yebosha, Stanwell in Staines, blessings. Golino in Switzerland, blessings to you. Let me know where that Golino is. How close is it to uh, uh, Zurich? Yes. Praise the Lord. God bless you richly today. Bexley in Kent, the Lord bless you. 
in Jesus' name, San Ramon, California, Abidjan in Ivory Coast. Blessings on you today, and congratulations on winning the African Cup. Blessings on you, Halo in Essex, Akosombo, Ghana. Blessings, blessings, Stratford, London. Oh, glory to God, Nabi Jotale, Ye Hoxton in uh, Hackney, God bless you, Scarborough in Yorkshire, God bless you richly, uh, Sutton in Surrey, be blessed and highly favored, uh, Almere Port in uh, Netherlands, the Lord bless you today. Open ten in Kent, be blessed, be favored. Jesus' name. Wigan in the United Kingdom, the Lord bless you richly. Brain tree in SS, SX, Lorient in France. Dieu vous bénisse, God bless you richly today. Morgan Estate, Lagos, Nigeria, the Lord bless you richly. Uh, back inside, Ilford, God bless. In Essex. Uh, Button Latimer, God bless you, Jesus' name. Uh, is it Martin Burton and Latimer? No, 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 Latimer, Latimer, Latimer. God bless you today, praise the Lord. Uh, Portsmouth in the UK, be blessed and highly favored today. Uh, may you be richly blessed. Aye, koso bari to koso to radai. Zandeo, Bulawayo, Zimbabwe, God bless you today. Oka Hanja in Namibia, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Denmark, Denmark, God bless you this morning. Uh, may you be favored, may you be lifted, may you be victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. May the blessings of the Lord never cease in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you experience the grace of God today. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Okay, button lots more, yeah, okay. Okay, God bless you. St. Elizabeth, Jamaica, be blessed and highly favored. Lusaka, Zambia, God bless, God bless, God bless, God bless, God bless today richly. In the name of Jesus, uh, Pretoria, God bless you richly. Kingswood in Bristol, may you be highly favored today. KRCC Maryland, Lagos, Nigeria, the Lord bless you. Nadi Shido, Steina, Queens in New York. Blessings in the name of Jesus. Maryland, USA, be blessed. Wari Delta State, God bless. Port Harcourt, Nigeria, God bless. Chingford in London, blessings. Madina, Bolivia, Kea, Ngong Hills in Kenya. God bless you richly today. God bless you richly today. Copenhagen in Denmark. God bless richly. Bulawayo. God bless you. Another town. Otija Warongo. Otija Warongo in Namibia. I hope I said it right. Otija Warongo it sounds like a Swahili word, but Namibia is too far from where they speak Swahili. They only speak, is it, is it o o Wambo or Orombo or something like that? In uh, Oromo or something like that in uh, Namibia. God bless you richly this morning. May you be highly favored. Praise the Lord. Aye Kotora, Westminster Bridge. God bless you this morning. May you be highly favored. Hello in Essex. We would like to celebrate, welcome everyone who's joining us this morning. We trust the Lord. You will be favored. You'll be lifted. Island Town, Freetown. God bless you. That is in uh, Sierra Leone. God bless you this morning. Uwagadogu in uh, Burkina Faso, Richmond Hill, Georgia. God bless you. I'd like to welcome everyone who's joining us today. The Bible makes very clear that God truly, truly, truly his number one desire is for us to prosper. Listen, if there's poverty in the world and there's poverty in nations, one, it is either man-made, or two, it is, uh, it is the failure to connect with God, or three, 
it is uh, the, 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 the problem, again, man-made in the sense that somebody has created a system where there are many have-nots and many haves. But for everything God does, he does abundantly. And he does it such that everyone should be blessed. So when God first made man, Genesis 1.28 was the word of God to man. And he said to them, be fruitful, multiply, sokodi in Togo. Hey, God bless you this morning. Diovubenis. Uh, God said, be fruitful, multiply. Then he said, replenish. Then he said, subdue the earth. And finally he said, have dominion. We have seen in the scriptures during the time of our praying how God said to be fruitful. We took the time to explain. We took the time to explain to, to multiply, then to replenish. Then the Bible says to subdue. What does that mean? Genesis 1.28. God intended for you to take charge, to conquer totally your territory. In the context of our teaching, being fruitful, by multiplying the fruit and replenishing, filling empty gaps, subduing actually means that where whatever fruit you produce and multiply must go maya kale bronosh must go beyond your immediate territories. Your fruit should be speaking for you in Europe, Africa, Asia, the Middle East, islands of the sea. There should be people who are benefiting from your fruit and you also benefiting from your fruit. Oh my God. So to subdue means that you have grown beyond being a local champion. To subdue means you've conquered the world with your fruit. God wants the product of your hand to conquer and subjugate. Praise the Lord. Subduing is a language of conquest. Ka ya 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 ya. And if you say, Pastor Madi, what are you saying? As you're watching me today, some of you are using all kinds of phones, uh, iPhone, uh, whatever the name. The people who made it, you've never met them. And guess what? Even in the nations where you find that somebody doesn't like another nation, but they have no choice but to use the product of the nation they don't like. Uh, like I was preaching on Sunday, I think around, and I was mentioning this subject, somebody somewhere may hate America as they burn down America. But why is he saying that he's wearing a jeans, which originally came out of the United States in the in the close to, uh, in the middle of the 18th century. And so, uh, you can't stop some things. While they say, burn down America, he's drinking Coca-Cola. So, the, that product has come subdued. It has gone beyond immediate territory. I believe that somebody on this altar, God is going to give you, your household, your family, your children, something to subdue your world something to touch your world, something to minister to your world. So to subdue is a language of conquest. The greatest conquest is to use the work of your hand, the work of your hand. To subdue is to have the power to overcome. When you subdue, it means you conquered. When two people are wrestling, one person subdues the other. In other words, the person with the upper hand subdued. Praise the Lord. To subdue is to overpower. To subdue is to overrun the place where you will have been weak. That is subduing. To subdue is to put down that which tries to rise above you. That is subduing. To subdue is the mandate of the believer to conquer ta 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 rabasha. The economic realm. We are called to operate in the economic realm, not as beggars, not as mendicants, not as the ones who eat the leftovers, not as the one who wait for some people to get a bigger pipe. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you have a big pipe, 
there are just drops coming out of it or once in a while if you have a hose sometimes i've seen people who have a hose and the water is pouring out of that long water hose but there is a microcosm of a tiny hole on the side of that water hose that's shooting one tiny water and that's what some people are living on they are living on the tiny water coming out of a broken part of a hose when you should be the one you know where the living waters flow where yeah yeah kaba about I believe God, I believe God, I believe God that from this morning glow, this platform on which we are, we're going to raise men who will take territories, who will conquer their world, who will become forces to reckon with. That, that is the call of God on your life. Do not believe less. You are called to subdue the economic realm. I am on top in Intolo Sagita Libra Noshka Yada. And you are called to conquer the spiritual realm. The spiritual realm we are called to conquer. The demonic should not have power over us. We rule above them. He has put everything under our feet. We're now seated with Christ. Ephesians 1, 6. Ephesians 2, 6. We're now seated in Christ Jesus in the heavenly places. Far above principalities and powers. When you are above, whatever is above is above, can never be under. Glory to God. Inishka, Imeta, Trenosa, Yerota, Kapaketo, Prete Kotosa, Teke Kotote, Rinoshke Yadaba, Male Boroto Sekeya Rebante, Roka Kekosha, Renoske Rebata, the call of God on your life is to subdue not only to subdue there but also to subdue the mental realm by the works of your hand ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters in any chosen field believers are we should be operating by a wisdom that shocks the world that men and women will be saying what wonder what kind of brain is this what kind of mind is this to subdue is to triumph over that was what jesus did in colossians 2 15 he says and having disarmed the powers and authorities he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them by the cross isn't that interesting that the same symbol of shame the cross is the same place where he conquered Ah, Satan makes mistakes. He thought he was crucifying the Lord of glory. The Bible then said, had he they known, they wouldn't have crucified the Lord of glory. For in the very place of shame was the very place where Satan lost it. So the Bible makes us understand that when Jesus was nailed to that cross, so when Satan thought, I've finished them, Jesus said, no, it is you that is finished. So Jesus announced, tell her you die. It is finished. Glory to God. Oh, Jesus conquered in the spirit realm. Our Savior, that's the way he conquered. And he wants us to operate in his class as his children. Glory. When the work of your hand begins to subdue, do you know what happens? You outplay your rivals. I lay hand on someone this morning. That will be your story. In any chosen field of endeavor. When you begin to subdue you outrun your rivals some of them will make mistake try to belittle you try to think you are small uh, they not realize they are goliath you are the david and you have the lord on your side when your work begins to subdue your work outshines the work of other people Anything you choose to do, whether it is sand you sell or water you sell, your work will subdue. To subdue means to outstrip the ones that have been before you. Oh, glory to God. To subdue is to overtake those who have gone ahead, just like Elijah overtook the chariots of Ahab. Nabayosha, Teleraba, Tozekeya. That is to subdue. Because the king must have thought 
with a chariot pulled by horses who can overcome who you see and the race is not to the swift the battle is not to the strong time and chance when God gives you the grace to subdue you go ahead of those who have gone ahead you go ahead of those who have gone ahead this morning get ready because the power to multiply is coming on your life this year will be the year of multiplied favor multiplied blessing the year of multiplied grace to subdue is to overtake those who have gone ahead to subdue is to surpass those who seem better just like Daniel excelled all the wise men of Babylon Daniel 6 3 now Daniel so distinguished himself among the administrators that the satraps by his and the satraps by his exceptional qualities that the king planned to set him over the whole kingdom father we give you glory this morning we praise your name we celebrate your goodness we magnify you awesome God holy God prayer answering God the God who cannot fail who cannot lie the God who does who cannot change your word cannot die you are God from beginning to the end you are a prayer answering God you are the God who stretch your hand who can stop it you are the God whose word is true listen wherever you are this morning I, I look at the names I look at the places some of you are in places where uh, you may look around and there's not much economic things going on but listen every nation is blessed every island is blessed every country is blessed but above all they are blessed to have you there because you are a carrier of destiny and so this morning upon this platform we prophesy into your life that you will multiply and you will subdue your world you will multiply and you will subdue your world you will multiply and you will subdue your world i prophesy again you will multiply you will subdue your world. I declare and decree again, you will multiply and you will subdue your world. I say one more time into your life this morning. God will multiply you. God will increase you on every side. And when we say on every side, it means every side. Everything that concerns you, God will breathe on it multiply you 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 breathe on it in the name of Jesus when the covenant of multiplication is on a man everything he does multiplies yaneta hireta redosha may you multiply physically in health physically in health financially spiritually first Samuel 16 verse 7 but the Lord told him, Samuel, don't think Eliab is the one just because he's tall and handsome. He isn't the one I've chosen. People judge others by what they look like, but I judge people by what is in their hearts. Jesse told his son Abinadab to go over to Samuel. But Samuel said, no, the Lord hasn't chosen him either. This morning, I prophesy into your life. I declare into your life. By an instrument of multiplication, God is increasing you. Your calling, your, your blessing will manifest by an instrument of multiplication. By the finger of God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you will multiply, you will increase, you will multiply, you will increase, you will multiply, you will increase. In the name of Jesus, I lay hand on somebody this morning, you will grow physically, you will grow in your heart, you will grow in your vision, you will grow in your depth, you will grow in your insight, you will grow on every side. Some people, they grow only physically. Some, they just grow in what they call experience. <laughs> not all experience can be used you know and they lied to you when they said experience is the be be best teacher some experiences are bad teachers this morning I prophesy on you you are increasing on every side you are growing spiritually materially Nalitosha this year you are expanding on every side in the name of Jesus 
you will not be rejected. You will not be rejected. Heaven will make you selected. Heaven will make you selected. You will not be rejected. Men may have selected you, but if God did not select you, then you are a failure. But when God selects you, then the blessing rests. I speak into your life today. Multiplication multiplication ever in the name of Jesus I had a book or shot I had a tata ah when it was time to multiply and bless David his father kept him in the wilderness I in and he brought on he buried it a shot he could over he get a rosa everything that is attacking you and your purpose I command it to stop I command it to stop everything I attacking you, attacking you, attacking your purpose. You want to do things and that's when the war breaks out or the battle breaks out. Ah! You foul hand, stop, stop, stop. You demonic hand, stop, stop, stop. You hands of hindrances, stop, stop, stop. You merchants of evil, stop, stop. In the name of Jesus, you Alexander the merchant of evil. Dear Paul said, Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. This man was the coppersmith who made the tin gods, the small idols in the town where Paul went to preach. The guy's business fell because Paul came to preach the only true God. And instead of the man to get saved, he felt his business was threatened. Some people are fighting you because your destiny threatens their, their, their image of themselves. You see, when you walk into some places, the anointing you, you carry can either be celebrated or denigrated. Whether in business, ministry, your anointing can either be celebrated or denigrated. And listen, even people who you think have great success, can be afraid of other people because they carry a certain degree of anointing. This morning upon this altar, I prophesy into somebody's life. They try to hide you, but God will not let you be hidden. Your grace is manifesting. Your calling manifesting. Your grace manifesting. Your calling manifesting. Your grace manifesting. Your calling manifesting. Your grace manifesting. Your calling. In the name of Jesus. I hear about her. Zalorosha. Everything attacking your purpose must stop. Everything attacking your calling must stop. Everything attacking your destiny must stop. From this day, your calling is manifesting. Your grace is manifesting. Your anointing manifesting. In the name of Jesus. I hear all Shadadi Kazali. Ranongarish Kaim Brodoza. Thank you, Jesus. In Luke chapter 2, verse 52, the Bible says Jesus grew both in body and wisdom, gaining favor with God and people. I speak into your life today, multiplying in every area, multiplied grace, multiplied growth, multiplied blessing, multiplied joy. In the name of Jesus, as you, as God blesses your age, may you increase in wisdom. This season of your life, wisdom for conquest, wisdom for expansion, wisdom for, for multiplication shall rest upon you, shall come upon you. You will speak and bring hope. You will speak and bring blessing. You will speak by the wisdom of God. You will move by the counsel of God. Wisdom will direct you. I lay hand on you today. Emotions will not lead you. Emotions will not guide you. Wisdom will guide you. Counsel of God will guide you this season. You will increase. You will be blessed. You will increase. You will be blessed. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Wasters of destiny, destroyers of purpose and calling, Hayaneta, Imboronka, hiding in places, lurking in places, wanting to confuse you and confuse your journey. God will throw them out of your journey. So I was praying, that just the, the story of Ruth just went through my mind. Two women, two destinies, Ruth and Opa. Opa chose to stay. And we never heard of her anymore. Ruth decided to follow. Wisdom prevailed in choosing to help Naomi. 
she walked into destiny. This day I lay hand into your life. Nako, Ishka, Abaro, Tabari, Tarigi, Somala, Tareba. As you increase in age, may you increase in wisdom. As you increase in age, this year you're adding another year. May you increase in wisdom. May you increase in the wealth of wisdom. Wealth of wisdom. There are people who open their mouth at 60 and they talk foolish things. 70 and they talk foolish things ah the wisdom from above will baptize your life the wisdom from above will decorate your life you will not become irrelevant this year you will stand out be distinguished be prosperous in the name of jesus there is a multiplication that brings multiplied wisdom receive in the name of jesus there is a multiplication that brings multiplied favor, people wanting to bless you. The Bible says, and Jesus grew in wisdom and in favor with all men. Receiving the name of Jesus. 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 Yali kusanti le kaida da da, ruta ka kusora da da, ida ba kusota le rama hidosh ida. This year you will be multiplied by God. Increase is coming, favor is coming, blessing is coming. In the name of Jesus, on every count, in every area of your life. There is an increase. 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 Your family. There is an increase. Exodus chapter 1 verse 12. But the more the Egyptians oppressed the Israelites, the more they increased in number. And the further they spread throughout the land. The Egyptians came to fear the Israelites. These guys are still slaves. And yet they are afraid of them. You know, because they were multiplying by the hand of God. Ah! There is a degree of favor and multiplication that comes on your life. And anyone who do not know their own destiny, they will, they will fear you. They will, be, they, will, they, will, they will be dreaded by the grace of God on your life. I speak into your life today. Your family is increasing. You, your children, everyone God has given to you the blessing of multiplication. Distinction is coming on your house. Distinction is coming on your house. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. They were oppressing the children of Israel, but they could not stop their destiny. I lay hand on you today. I declare and decree they can't stop you. Increase, 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 increase in the name of multiplication. Exodus chapter 23, verse 26 to 28. Exodus 23, 26 to 28. In your land, no woman will be will have a miscarriage. Or be without children. I will give you long lives. I will make the people who oppose you afraid of me. I will bring confusion among the people against whom you fight. I will make all your enemies turn and run from you. I will throw your enemies into a panic. I will drive out the Hevites, the Canaanites, and the Hittites as you advance. Whoa. From now on, somebody on this platform, get ready. Everyone associated with you, connected to you. No barrenness, but fruitfulness. No barrenness, but fruitfulness. No barrenness, but fruitfulness. Fruitfulness is not only childbearing. It is also being seedful that makes you fruitful. You're carrying seed of destiny, seed of gifting, seed of business, seed of prosperity. Ah, and so may God breathe on that seed. God will breathe on the seed you carry. God will breathe on the seed you carry. You will prosper. You will prosper. You will multiply. 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 You will prosper. I see a revelation of somebody who stretched two hands, and this invisible hand took some seed and are putting in your hand. Mm, powerful powerful before the close of this month of february before the close of this month of february today we're in the 13th 
before the close of this month of February. Ideas, seed of destiny, seed of greatness shall be planted in your spirit. And the ones already planted, we command them to germinate seed of destiny, seed of prosperity, seed of favor, seed of the call of God, seed of greatness, seed, amazing seed, awesome seed, powerful seed. I lay hand on you today. I see that hand. It's a major hand. And it takes seed. And it's put in the hand of this person who stretches the two hands. The seed of prosperity. The seed of greatness. The seed of divine lifting. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. I see a revelation of somebody looks like a saw or a pain in one of your legs my of fact, the right leg that i see i lay hand on your leg whatever it is arthritis pain trapped nerve i hear trapped nerve Parushkayada. i command healing right now command your leg to begin to function like it had not done in a long time total health receive total health total health receive total health total health receive total health total health every nerve that has been trapped i command healing i release you today i rebuke i rebuke every trapped nerve i command your health and your healing in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus be free he that the sun says free it's free indeed i see a revelation of a Looks like a woman may have been told her ah, we see something in your breast looks like a lump blah 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 You will live 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 you would live you would live you would live you will live in the name of Jesus thank you Lord Oh glory Oh glory. Oh glory. This morning we speak multiplication into your life in the name of Jesus. I command concerning you, you will not be barren, you will multiply. You will not be barren, you will multiply. Multiplied favor, multiplied blessing, multiplied breakthroughs. I speak into your life, multiplication, multiplication in the name of Jesus, multiplied health. He said, none of you will be barren. You will not carry, you will not miscarry. You will live in health. Ah, this word of the Lord. And then he said, those who oppose you, <laughs> I will make the people who oppose you afraid of me. I'll bring confusion among the people against whom you fight. I'll make your enemies to turn and run from you. I lay hand on you this morning. I pray for you. I speak into your life in the name of Jesus. You, I speak into your life a healthy life multiplied into your life. Multiplied health. Multiplied peace. Multiplied health. Multiplied peace. Multiplied health. Multiplied peace. Multiplied health in the name of Jesus. Naido Shkayeda Hirida Kabaro Zondiri Hale Karido Tadada. Every enemy of your pro of your multiplication. When when there's a barrenness, it means there's no fruit. And when there's no fruit, then there's nothing to multiply. When there's nothing to multiply, there's nothing to replenish. When there's nothing to replenish, there's nothing to subdue. So this day, there shall be no barrenness in your life. Mental barrenness, we rebuke. Physical barrenness, we rebuke. Financial barrenness, we rebuke. Spiritual barrenness, inability to connect with God, to hear God, to be led by God, to know the voice of the Lord. When the Bible says the voice of the Lord is upon many waters. 
You will multiply. From this day, Alehano, somebody and I prophesy into your life. No more struggles. No more struggles. No more struggles. The area of your life where you have struggled, we bring it to an end. 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 No more struggle, but multiplication. No more struggles, 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 but multiplication. No more struggles. Ata ishka teraba hikozaba. Anytime God visited a people where there was lack, He always visited until there was too much. Wherever there was lack, he visited until there was too much. Ah! Na ye deba, teko zoraba, hite kaleda, hamakarada, hishale riba, paro toroza, kereke kuka, tareke koro, pare derera, hireba roro, multiplied favor, multiplied blessing, multiplied favor, multiplied blessing, multiplied favor, multiplied blessing, multiplied favor, hayaraba kata tata rata tata, no more unfruitfulness, you are the temple of God. From day one, your creation was to multiply. Your calling is multiplication. Multiply, increase, multiply, increase, multiply, increase. In the name of Jesus. I see a revelation. Uh, they have these kegs between the, the package wine. I think that's what the Bible also called vats. He said, and your vats will be filled with plenty. I think it's Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9. Honor the Lord with your increase and with the first fruit, and your vats will be filled with plenty. And I'll see this storehouse, and people were rolling out vats and filling, rolling out vats. Now, inside the vat, what you have is wine, which is symbolic of celebration and joy. Ay, 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 Hey, I just saw another revelation. And I know I wasn't thinking of this. I wasn't thinking of my peacocks. When I just saw that about my peacock, uh, yeah, the peacocks once in a while opens its uh, feathers, but I saw this one, it, it's not mine, it's bigger. It opened the whole thing, the full colors. Ah, so two things, celebration, I see full colors. And then this vat full of wine. Ah, no, no, no. Somebody on this altar, your season of celebration has come and it's going to be big. You are rolling out the kegs, <laughs> the vats. You are rolling out the vats of, of wine of celebration. You've waited. <laughs> it's not just rolling out the vats. Now it's making sense. I saw that like it was stored up. So you waited and waited and waited and waited. So the time has come. The door has opened. The vats are coming. The store, the store is open. The vats are coming. Hey. <laughs> In fact, what I see is like the place where the vats were stored uh, had double door. And as soon as they opened it, in fact, no one could carry the keg. So they, I don't know if you've ever rolled a cylindrical thing before. You roll it on one edge of its bottom so that it can roll like it's a wheel. So that it can roll like it's a wheel. That's how I see them rolling it out. Rolling it out. <laughs> You've waited for long. Somebody on this altar, the time has come. The joy is here. In the season of your waiting, you were ridiculed, but your miracle is here. Don't answer anybody. Let your testimony answer them. Let your breakthrough answer them. <laughs> the peacock opened. Ah, the multi colors short. Lishka, Boshkadi, Ari Devidozi, Ari Diri Barata, Avari Di Kotura, Avari Kushkadea, Arevare Du Kuskitedi. Celebration has come. Celebration has come. I want you to write it in your diary, thirteenth of February. The Lord spoke to you. You are rolling out the kegs, the vats of of the wine of celebration and jubilation, celebration, jubilation, celebration, jubilation, celebration. celebration. 
in the name of Jesus that's what your portion is it's coming to your house it's going to happen your eye will see it your hand will handle it your mouth will testify your eye will see it your hands will handle it your mouth will testify I saw the keg in fact not just keg but keg place was packed they put those kegs on each other they filled up the place I show you I don't see many people inside I see like somebody was passing it to you and you were rolling them out and as you were rolling one out they are ready for, for to give you the next one hey I receive I receive I receive I receive Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Your testimony is here in harvests, in kegs of joy, and in, in celebration. Receive in the name of Jesus. 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 Receive in the kegs of celebration for that breakthrough, for the open door, for the multiplication, for the replenishing, for the subduing in the economic realm, in the spiritual realm, in the physical realm. Receive, 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 receive. Thank you, Jesus. Hira Borosha, he Karim Borandi Kata Tata, he Kozomba Riti. Thank you, Jesus. Hira Botala, he every unproductivity in your life will remove from today. You will multiply. Every unproductivity is removed for your sake. Every unproductivity is removed for your sake. In the mighty name of Jesus, multiplied joy, multiplied health, multiplied favor. Any plant of unfruitfulness and stagnation, it catches fire. It burns by fire. Every seed of, of, of unfruitfulness, every seed of stagnation, remaining on the same spot for long, we remove you out of it. We speak into your life. You are moving forward. Joy multiplies for you. Glory multiplies. Peace multiplies. Iramata, Kedorosa. Here they are rolling out that keg. I saw that peacock that thing opened up fully, celebrating. The season of your joy and fruitfulness is here. The season of your celebration is here. The season of your joy and fruitfulness is here. In the name of Jesus. When a peacock does that, he does it to show off to the opposite. God will give you blessings to show off. Aya tiko son prekata edeno talebradi riko shata yediba katali kaba you've been through through the been throughs I speak into your life today the things that God will do in this season of your life he will be awesome he'll be great he'll be great he'll be awesome he'll be great even if you want to hide it you'll be too big to hide I speak favor I speak blessing I call in the testimonies in the name of Jesus somebody on this altar today multi Applied health. I see as if somebody is holding a thing with which you are saying, I need healing for my family. I lay, I lay hand on that paper or on the names that you have written down. I command health right now. I command health right now. In the name of Jesus, I see a woman. You have a child. I think that child is either autistic or struggling to talk. <laughs> the destiny of your it looks like a boy the destiny of your child will manifest that child will speak that child will operate I curse every autism I break its power I destroy its power I release the boy the girl whoever it is into the fullness of their destiny into the fullness of their destiny into the fullness of their destiny anyone on this platform this morning who has ill health we release multiplied health multiplied health according to the word of the Lord we release multiplied health multiplied health in the name of Jesus multiplied health mm. I'm picking something about heart condition I saw I lay hand on the person who have the heart condition I speak into your life total health come back with testimony please when God does it write the testimony very soon we're going to be taking testimony just testimonies on Wednesdays instead of Bible study we'll just be taking testimonies 
Iron Asia, Hilivarosa, and even next week during Waterfalls, we should line up some testimonies. Ayeda, Ikaleba, Irabada, that person with a heart condition. I rebuke angina, I rebuke angina, I rebuke blocked arteries. Atusi Total health from this day. Total health from this day. I see again somebody who has if it was something you ate. I don't know if you had food poisoning or, or after this meal. So something just went wrong. Nalambarosha, he delirables, yeah. He liriboro kotea, he borodo de shadiadaba, he borodo zokayada, he borodo de shkalirabara, he borodo de kesekea, he borodo taliribara daraza, he borodo de roshaka. I command health in your body, I command health in your body, I rebuke sickness, I rebuke diseases, I command your body to receive divine health. Loose from the grip of sickness. Lose, lose, lose from the grip of disease. Lose, lose, lose from the grip of sickness. Be free from today. Be loosed from today. The Lord Jesus sets you free. He that the Son sets free is free indeed. He's 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 free indeed. In the name of Jesus, I command your health. 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 So shall it be. Testimony will follow you this day. The glory of the Lord will be revealed. All eyes will see the mouth of the Lord of hosts have spoken it. Some people have been knocking on certain doors and they just keep telling you tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. I lay hand on you today. I release favor. I release grace. I release favor. I release grace. Aye tonka ba le jade ke protoso kaba he jade libra na tokosibia you will testify of the goodness of the lord in the land of the living you will testify of the goodness of the lord in the land of the living in the name of jesus peace on your household joy on your household grace on your household testimony on your household god intervenes and turn matters around Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We say it is done. We say it is done. I declare and decree multiplication into your life from today beyond your own imagination. The kind of multiplication you have never seen. Receive it from today. Receive it from today. Alime Doroskia, Hideshka Yeboroza, Hembro, Teja, Liboza, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Iraba Roshendea Kalebo, Viraboskia. From today, there's a turnaround coming. There's a season of change. In the name of Jesus, I declare multiplication of peace, multiplication of joy, multiplication of healing, multiplication in the name of Jesus. Multiplied favor, multiplied blessing, multiplied testimony. This year is going to be a unique year for you. It's going to be the year that the Lord has made. It's going to be the year of you increasing on every side. No empty space, no empty grounds, no empty space, no empty ground. Anything that was scheduled to, exp to disgrace you shall itself be disgraced. Anything scheduled by the enemy to embarrass you shall itself be embarrassed. Anything scheduled to disgrace you shall itself be disgraced. Anything scheduled to embarrass you shall itself be embarrassed. As for you, multiplied favor, 
multiplied blessing in the name of Jesus. Abo shekaye rabarabo, irabo sekaye riba, rekoso libari ketara, ikoso rati karada da da, rekoso nama kaye tero. Today I declare and decree into your life favor, 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 blessing, 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 blessing in the name of Jesus. Hidi bota, hidi losha, hidi daba, hidi roro se kaya daba, hindi roro za, hindi le rebosha. In the name of Jesus, beyond your own imagination, he raboso da 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 rosa. On every side you will multiply. On every side you will multiply. Multiplied blessing, multiplied favor, multiplied breakthrough, multiplied testimony. In the name of Jesus, you will multiply, you will subdue your world, you will shake your world. In the name of Jesus, everything you touch will be multiplied. Multiplied of vision, multiplied blessing, multiplied breakthrough, multiplied on every side. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. I speak into your life today that God himself will multiply your blessings, multiply your dreams, multiply the work of your hand. Somebody on the altar today, you've struggled in the area of finance. I declare and decree into your life today, from this day, the heavens open upon you for multiplied blessings, 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 for multiplied blessings. Hayerash kadabosa. I speak into your life today, multiplied, open doors, multiplied. Ah, you will be the one that will say, I can't cope anymore. Ah, I declare and decree into your life this morning. For the next couple of minutes, wherever you are, let your amen be very powerful. First Chronicles 4, 9 and 10, Jabez was honorable above his brothers, but his mother named him Jabez, sorrow maker. Saying, because I bore him in pain. Jabez cried to the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you will bless me and enlarge my border, and that your hand might be with me, and you will keep me from evil, so it might not hurt me. God granted his request. This morning, I prophesy unto your life, increase is coming. Increase is coming. In the name of Jesus, those who have mocked you, are coming to your thanksgiving service. I prophesy Psalm 115, verse 14 and 15, into your life. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. You are blessed of the Lord which made heaven and earth. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your household. The Lord will bless you, the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. Job 8, verse 7, I speak into your life. Though your beginning has been very small, your latter end da, 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 shall be exceedingly great in the name of Jesus. Oh, Proverbs 13, 11 says, Wealth gained by dishonesty will be, will be diminished, but he who gathers by labor will increase. May you increase. May you increase. May you increase. May you increase in this season. Financial increase. Subduing your world. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Subduing your world. Receive in the name of Jesus. Subduing your world in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 18, 20. A man's moral self shall be filled with the fruit of his mouth. And with the consequence of the words, he must be satisfied. So this day, Abalasha, Hebroka, as I speak life, receive life. As I speak favor, receive favor. Proverbs 18, 21, power of life and death is in the tongue. I speak life into your body. I speak multiplication into your destiny. I speak increase beyond imagination in the name of Jesus on every side. Receive, receive. Haye katoso. Niji li broka, ye riko zunomante, riko zi ka ye data, li ronamashi ka li rebo kozaya. Hey, first Corinthians 9 10, Bible says the God who provides seed for the sower and bread for eating will also provide and multiply your resources for sowing and increasing the fruits of righteousness. I speak into your life, seed and bread are in your hand. 
seed to sow bread to eat seed to sow bread to eat i come to you god is uh, multiplying you this year what you could not do for the whole of your lifetime you will do this year what you could not achieve all the years you've lived on earth you will achieve this year multiplied health multiplied joy multiplied blessing I declare to somebody's life this morning Deuteronomy 30 verse 19 amplified I call heaven and earth to witness this day against you that I have said before you life and death blessing and curse is therefore choose life that you you and your descendants may live you will 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 live in health you will live in joy you will live in peace you will live in strength you will live in glory in the name of Jesus Psalm 23 verse 1 because the Lord is your shepherd you shall not want this year you shall not want for peace you shall not want for joy you shall not want for increase in jesus name proverbs 10 verse 22 proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the lord the barak of the lord the empowering of the lord barak it make it rich makarios in the greek ah and adds no sorrow the blessing that will make you sleepless is not coming your way but the one that with the blessing you sleep with the blessing you rest the blessing of peace the blessing of joy the blessing of abundance the blessing of open heaven the blessing of not worried who can try to touch you receive in the name of jesus the blessing of the demonic realm silenced job said when they saw me they kept quiet the elders could not talk the young men put their hand behind their back receive that kind of blessing i speak into your life today prosperity increase favor joshua 1 8 this book of the law shalt not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according as is written therein for then 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 for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then, 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 and then thou shalt have good success. I prophesy unto your life. This year is a year of good success. Beyond your own dream. Ah, what you have not been able to do all your lifetime. You will do this year. The enemy will not be able to frustrate you. And he will not be able to snuff you out of this world. Peace on your house. Joy on your house. Blessing on your house. Increase on your house. Testimony on your house. Hey, da, ba, 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 ba. Blessed is the man who does not sit or walk or stand with the ungodly. His delight is in the word of the Lord, and in his word does he meditate day and night. Psalm 1 from verse 1 to 3. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, bringing forth fruit in his season, and everything he does prospers. And everything he does prospers. This year, your spiritual life will prosper. Your mental life will prosper. Your physical life will prosper. Your emotional life. You will be a buoyant woman. A buoyant man. Like that keg of wine of joy. Bubbling with, with the chemicals that make it to bubble. You will be bubbling with the joy of the Lord. You will be bubbling with the grace of God. Laughter will be in your house. The sound of celebration will not cease in your house. The sound of joy will not cease in your life this year. So shall it be. So shall it be. And whatsoever he does, prosperous. One translation says, success attends everything he does. Success attends everything he does. That's your portion. Go into today and walk well, and be blessed well, and live well, and succeed well, and achieve well. Go into today and excel. Go into today. Bless your generation. Go into today. May the oil of God so rest upon you. Go into today. May your head be lifted and not bow to adversity. Go into today. Everything you'll be wondering, how can this be? God will make all things work together for your good because you love the Lord and you are called according to his original intention. Romans 8, 28. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Well, praise the Lord this morning. I believe you were blessed, you were favored. I believe the 
hand of the Lord was upon this morning's morning glow. Keep glowing for the rest of today. Praise the Lord. A couple of announcements. We're looking forward to next week. I hope you're clearing your diary because it's going to be a season of visitation. Waterfalls. We've had different water emphasis every February. It's either a flowing river, uh, water brooks, but this year is waterfalls. The, the Bible says the deep the deep call unto the deep at the sound of the waterfalls. So let this season of revival, this five days of revival come starting on Wednesday next week. Let it renew, refresh. Let it restore, regain. And let it make you revitalize and reset. Put your life on reset. I'm sure one or once or twice your phone have been in a place where it just either froze or will not do what you want and you were told put it off and put it on again so it can reset let the holy ghost reset oh and make sure you come praying come asking god for something from this year's waterfalls come asking god to renew you so wednesday to friday will be the Season we are in the land of wonders. We're laying hands. We're believing God for healings, for miracles. In the name of Jesus. Don't come alone. Invite somebody. And if you are around the world, make sure you connect. The Saturday is the day of the prophetic. When we'll connect via Zoom. We'll have everybody on a large screen. And we'll prophesy into your life. Praise the Lord. Sunday is Super Sunday. A day of celebration and rejoicing and dancing and magnifying God. It's a day of thanksgiving also. So prepare for this, this month's Super Sunday. We have Israel, we have Gabriel, Isyashi. The psalmist who will join us in magnifying God and celebrating our God. His most popular song says, The hand of the Lord does wonders, does awesome things. So, join us. It's going to be great. In the name of Jesus. This month of his fullness, may the fullness of the Lord manifest in your life. May you walk in the fullness of God's grace, in the fullness of God's blessing. Of his fullness have we received grace upon grace, blessing upon blessing, favor upon favor. Oh, I need you to read that passage in your own time. In John 1.16, Amplified Bible gives us four levels of blessing that we receive through his fullness. <clears throat> Make sure you take the time to invite 10 people in the next 100 days. To join something KICC, water, waterfalls, morning glow, Sunday service, Wednesday, sharing of the word. We have been blessed. We've been teaching, walking in power every Wednesday for some time now. Walking in the power of God is so necessary. There's a power failure in the church, generally, globally, as a result all kinds of things are happening in our world. Uh, we need Christ to make us walk in his power. His song says, Thy kingdom come, O God, thy rule, O Christ, begin. Break with your iron rod the tyranny of sin. There is a tyranny of sin in our world today. Governments are the ones sponsoring lifestyles they have gone beyond governing they are now they are now proclaiming laws that have to do with lifestyle the church needs to rise and walk in power let the church arise jesus christ is lord of all my edosha take care of her. We'll see you tomorrow morning at the place of the morning glow. This is the year of more than enough. And we're in the season of brain multiplication. God of more than enough. He will not leave you stranded. He will not leave you by your own. 
He will not leave you stranded. He will not leave you on your own. He will not leave you stranded. He will not leave you on your own. He will not leave you stranded. He will not leave you on your own. He will not leave you stranded. This year will be awesome for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I know it's still far away, but Saturday 24th in the evening, it's during the week of the waterfall. We'll have part two of 120 biblical principles for doing business God's way. Ah, last Saturday was awesome. It was so very enriching. And yet, I don't think we covered more than probably 20 or 30 out of the 120 uh, biblical biblical principles for wealth creation. From a Bible point of view, the wealth master class is being taught in two sessions. I think it will be two sessions. We should be able to finish. Uh, last one, we went extra time. So make sure you register. This year, you shouldn't struggle. You see, God even wants to bless you, but only according to your ability. And your ability comes by somebody mentoring you. The Lord bless you this morning. We'll see you tomorrow morning in the place of the morning glow. God bless you richly. Chodubu Benis. Yosteben Diga. Yosteben Soibwana Akubariki. Unyamishra. Unyamishra wa. Yabarikish. Muariba kukumbarere iwamuzita. Rayesu. Mkulunkulu. Agubu says. Good morning. God bless you richly. Thank you.